Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this pinball effect for your photos. Now, first things first is we want to create a new document. So to do this you want to go to File, and then you want to go to New. Now from here you want to make sure the width is 4000 and the height is 3000. And you want to make sure the background content is set to white. Then go to OK. Now from here is we're going to go to the rectangle marquee tool like so we're going to make a new blank layer like so and we're going to make just a little rectangle like so in the upper left hand corner like that and we're going to go and pick our color now you can have whatever color that you want for the background it doesn't uh, matter but i'm going to go for a sort of a cream like so now you're going to go to the paint bucket and just put, put that in there then we're going to go to filter we're going to go to texture and we're going to go texturizer now from the drop down list you can have um, whatever you want but for me it's going to be uh, the sandstone which is the best effect for uh, what I want to do and the scaling is going to be on 200% and then you want to click OK now from here we want to press Ctrl and T because it is too small at the moment and we're going to activate the free transform. Now we're going to put it the same size as our what's it called? Our image and then click the tick icon like so. Now from here we're going to go make a new blank layer like so again and go back to the rectangle marquee tool and press Control and D to deselect and then just do the same like you did in the upper left hand corner from here we want to make sure that we've got black and white selected then we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to render and we're going to go to clouds now from here we're going to press the Control T to free transform again like so making it the same size as the original image like that and we're going to go and put it to soft light that's the best effect so it gives us some uh, shadowing sort of effects there now now we've got that we're going to start adding our photos now we want to go and press Control and d to deselect now you can put as many photos as you want i'm just going to put some random ones in like so like this i uh, not really paying attention to where they're going at the moment like that just put in some random ones in uh, now if you uh, put in the ones in you're gonna have to resize them so we'll get to that bit in a minute like so so I'm gonna press Control and T on the photo to resize it like that like so and just go along resizing the images to whatever you want can take quite a long time I'm just doing it really quickly so I'm not really paying attention like so and then click on the tick icon once you've rendered it so so we've got three here like so and first of all we're gonna go and select one of them now working on this you want to make sure that you've got auto select on because then once you click the image uh, it's just gonna select the layer that you want to move instead of moving to the layers and it's a lot more complicated so just make sure that you've got auto select on like so now from here we're gonna add a drop shadow so we're gonna select an image and we're gonna go to the effects and we're gonna go drop shadow now this brings this panel up now you can change uh, the angle and the distance and size depending on the sort of type that you want now you can play around um, do what uh, the settings as you wish but for mine it's going to be 45 angle like so 37 for the distance and 38 for the size so that gives us a pretty good drop shadow and then for the stroke so make sure you got that we're going to put the size to 21 like so 
and you want to make sure it's inside the portion and we're going to change the color now you can have whatever color that you want like red or whatever but I'm going to go for a nice white like so click OK and then click OK and then once you've done that uh, you've got this cool effects little thing right here now you can apply this to your other images so if you just press the alt down and then click on the FX and pull it to whatever image you want like so and it's added that same effects to that image now from here we're gonna want to make some pins for our image so we're gonna select an image like so now we're gonna go make a new blank layer like that we're gonna go and click the elliptical marquee tool we're gonna zoom in you can either use the zoom in tool or hold down the alt and scroll inwards like so we're gonna hold down the shift key which then do in our circle like so that makes sure that it gets a perfect circle like that now we're gonna click the color for the pins now you can choose whatever color you want I'm gonna go for a gold like that uh, let's choose a nice bright gold like that and then for the backing we're gonna have a darker sort of gold like that that'll do we're gonna go to the gradient tool like that you wanna make sure that you've got uh, five uh, selections up here you want to make sure the second one um, is selected which is the round circle one and from there we're just gonna put that inside there which is pretty cool and we're gonna zoom in even more like so and we're gonna go to our paintbrush tool we're gonna go and select a normal light brush like so and we're gonna select the color white and we're just going to give it a nice shine so something like that and then from there we're going to go to filter we're going to go to blur gaussian blur something about radius of 5.5 should be enough and then click ok then zoom out like so and press ctrl and d to deselect like that and you've made your um, pin now from here uh, you want to duplicate that pin now you can do this a number of ways you can duplicate the layer or so on but we're going to click the move tool and we're going to hold down the control just move it a bit and the alt so if you hold down the alt key and then drag it duplicates that and you can put it wherever you want like so keep doing it so we're going to put one there and one there and one there now you can just go crazy on this you can just put loads more images create different effects um, and stuff like that so don't stop just keep adding things and stuff like that now please comment rate and subscribe and uh, please check out my website which is the comment uh, which is in the description bar sorry and uh, see you next time bye for now